Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blues Not channel. Today I'm back with a special away day match vlog edition. It is currently a little bit past 5.30 in the morning right now and I am absolutely exhausted right now. But I'm about to head to the train station right now and be taking a train down to San Jose. And then once I'm there, I'm going to be taking a bus down to LA. And I will, once I get there, then I'll take another bus down to Carson as I'll be going there to watch the Cali Classico between the Quakes and the Galaxy at Stop Hub Center. Now, despite the fact that I I am very excited about this first ever away day trip that I ever have. I am absolutely not confident about this game. I mean, this is probably the least confident that I've ever been coming into a Cali Classical game, mainly because of what has happened throughout this season and what just happened in the last game. So let's just hope that tonight the teams can finally show up. You know, this is a big game for the Quakes, but it's also a huge game for the fans too this definitely means a lot to us fans too so let's just hope the players will show that effort and let's hope we can get all three points tonight come on you quakes let's go to LA right now guys we have just arrived here in San Jose and it is actually about 7 3 in the morning we still have about 45 minutes before the bus arrives and yeah I'm absolutely exhausted right now I try to get some sleep on the train didn't quite work out and you know the funny thing is right now I'm seeing some commuters taking their train up to San Francisco to go to work and I'm going to LA to watch the Quakes play <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, honestly, I don't know what am I even thinking right now, but just gonna sit here for a bit, wait for the bus to arrive in right around 45 minutes from now. We have just arrived here in LA. Well, technically, I'm actually in Hollywood right now. We are actually about quarter before 3 p.m. right now, and I'm actually going to be heading to my hotel slash hostel. And then after that, I'll basically be there, rest for about an hour, and then go down to Stop Hub Center. Um, it's about 20 miles from Hollywood to Stop Hub Center, so it's a bit forward to get there, but it is what it is. We're going to we're gonna go to the stadium right about four o'clock. Hopefully we'll get there about two hours before the game starts. All right guys, I have just made it to the stadium. In fact, the stadium is actually right there on the left side of me. And as you can tell, I'm wearing all Quakes gear into this game. And as you can also tell, I have no bodyguard or security for coming into this game because I don't need them. It is what it is. Fuck LA. Come on, you Quakes. Let's see if we can get a win tonight. been announced and there's our two changes in the lineup Jackson Yu and Weehan is coming out and Salinas and who else Wando back in the lineup but honestly with Salinas in the lineup yeah I am not happy about that and I'm really concerned we're gonna concede a goal from them 
Ultras are clapping those guys right there. As the Quakes player are warming up there, but yeah, in terms of the prediction of this game, you know, we got to recover from that horrendous loss last, last game. I mean, we got to get a win in this game. It is the Cali Clasco. You know, you know it means a lot to our, us fans to see our team give 100% effort and potentially get a win. And that is what I expect from this team. So, my prediction is going to be a 3-2 score. And as usual, come on you Quakes! Let's go and beat LA! Up, up center it is scoreless between the galaxy and the quakes and besides the fact that the ultra are seeing their hearts out and certainly entertaining this section it has been a really really boring first half i mean neither team has really done much on the attack we have been just once again struggling on the attack the final ball just not good enough from us and on the defensive side we almost almost gave away a very bad ball to the Galaxy and potentially for them to score the first goal. But the good news is it hasn't happened yet, although I have a feeling it might happen in the second half because you know this defense and you know how it would be just a miracle if this defense can get, get a clean sheet and not concede a goal in a game. In fact, I don't even remember the last time the Quakes have not concede a single goal in a single game that's how bad the defense is but hopefully in the second half our attack will be a little bit better and just hopefully hopefully we will not see a mistake especially by Salinas somehow here in the second half Oh, 
Vaco, go on Vaco. Play back the middle. You got Youngworth right there in the middle. Here's Erickson. Oh, nice ball. Oh, no. No. Vaco was trying to hit it on the volley, but he never got it. I don't know why we didn't just put, play it back the middle. Well, Dos Santos is on, and it's not Jonathan, it's Giovanni. Oh God, my nails is gonna literally be bitten by the end of this game because this is going to be a very tense last 15 minutes for us. Looks like Vako is coming out. So Tommy Thompson is going to come in and Vako is coming out. is coming off here. Oh, go on. Riff! Riff! Yes, free kick! Free kick! Free kick coming up for the Quakes in a very dangerous area. Galaxy 1, Quake 0. Honestly, what the actual fuck did I just watch in this game? And actually, I'll tell you what the fuck I've just watched. This is the exact same shit that I've been seeing every single week. I am literally jumping on the Star Game now, wagon very soon, right now. If not, I'm actually jumping it on right now because. This is absolutely bullshit from what I've seen every single week from the team. I mean, seriously, we do not make any big signings in the summer. We do not fix our problem. Then I want everybody in this team out, Starry out, the front office out, everybody out. We need a change in this team very, very badly.